what is everybody welcome back to youtube.com slash Raj former coming to you with a quick video because I gotta get something off my mind here I've been very annoyed with the internet recently for a multitude of reasons that I'm not even gonna get into right now that's another video series god damn it it's annoying sometimes but uh, today I want to talk about the ideas of Fallout 4 and the reviews and all the controversy surrounding that no I'm not gonna be talking about Fallout 4 impressions or even my review that might be coming later I want to be talking about the whole hullabaloo of Fallout 4 reviews and what people think about them. So, if you are out of the loop, here's what basically happened. Fallout 4 came out about a week ago, and it had a ton of critical praise, but a lot of people on the internet didn't really like a few aspects of the game, specifically the way the game looks and the way the game runs on console and sometimes on PC. The game does have some dips down to below 30 frames per second, but mostly keeps an ideal 30 FPS, but on Xbox One, the game has these stutters or these points where the game just freezes, and then loads, so it drops to effectively zero frames a second, basically just freezes and loads, but doesn't have the load symbol. And of course, there was already a debate about how the game looked at the E3 showing, and now the game pretty much looks the same, so people are mad about that, and this created a whole mess on the internet. People were yelling at reviewers saying, you gave this game a 9.5, yet you didn't even say anything really about how the game runs or how it looks, and that is biased because you like the game too much, you didn't even mention anything about and then people that like the game were yelling at the people that didn't like the game about the graphics and how it ran like oh the game ran fine for me you guys are just shallow okay here's my thing internet none of this matters and I'm not saying video games don't matter we can talk about video games all we want I'm not one of those people that let's talk about important issues sure talk about important issues video games are important to us so let's talk about it but I don't like this idea of us screaming about opinions. There are opinions. The title of this video is going to be When Do Graphics Matter? And you know when graphics matter? When you decide they matter. Graphics are not this thing where we all have to sit at a table and agree when they matter to us and if they are good or not. No, it's an individual basis. It's called opinions. So, if you play a video game and you're like, hey, this game doesn't look amazing. This game doesn't run amazing. You have all the right, if you have an educated opinion, to go out there and say, I don't like this game because it doesn't look or run well. That's totally fine. And also, someone can go and say the same thing. They can be like, yeah, the game doesn't really run or look good, but I like the game and I looked past it. Those are two very valid opinions. I'll be the first one to acknowledge my bias right now. I've been playing this game for hours and I have not ran into one major bug or one major your frame rate dip. The game runs pretty smooth on PS4, so I, for myself, believe that the game should be looked past its visual and how it runs, but I understand why people would be mad. The game doesn't look amazing. Fallout 4 is one of the biggest video games ever crafted in terms of how deep it is, how many things you can do in it, and the game just doesn't look that good. So I understand both sides of it. So this whole video is just kind of made to say, hey, you know when graphics matter? when you decide they matter. So instead of fighting about it on the internet, just make up a decision and run with it. You don't have to yell at someone that gave the game an amazing score, thinks the game is amazing, and say, well, the graphics are bad. Sure, they're bad for you, but they might not be bad for someone else. We all have to realize opinions are subjective, and no matter if someone gave it an 8, 9, 10, it's their opinion, and you can have one as well. Doesn't mean yours is lesser, or his is greater, or hers is greater. It's an opinion. Let's all sit down and realize that. And the faster we can realize that, we can stop screaming about it on the internet. Have a good day.